not pay attention, right? He's got the lockdown, right? He's managed to get this. He gets double underhooks on me, right? So this is a bad spot because he can move me around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn perpendicular to him. And I, as I do, I bring my elbow to his elbow. So I stop his underhook. So now when he tries to lift and move me around, it's much harder for him to do, right? So he's going to have a really tight lockdown on my leg where it's really hard for me to get my foot out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift his leg and bring my other foot underneath catching his heel. That allows me to feel my foot. Now I turn and sit to my hip and I walk my foot up towards his butt so that my knee pops through. If, if he's still up over my knee, then I just push it off at that point, right? If you try to push it off when it's down here, it's gonna be really hard. But once I walk it up, it's pretty easy to push that over. Now my knee goes to the mat, and now I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna back step and I'm gonna triangle my own leg. We dive for the ninja roll, go to the back. <laughs> Alright, so he's got this lockdown, he gets double underhooks, so I turn, kill that underhook, alright? He's got a tight lockdown, so I'm coming under, kneel my foot off, sit to my hip, walk my foot up. Push the knee off of my knee, and I go to three quarter mount. He still has my foot trapped, that's fine. I'm going to back step, triangle my own leg, ninja roll right to the back. All right, let's grab a partner and let's hit it. Three, two, one. Lock down again. Yep. All right, so we're here. He gets under me. I make this turn. We're having this battle, right? So what I'm going to do when I make this turn, especially if he's whipping me back and forth and I'm really battling hard with this. Yeah. When he comes back to this side near me, I'm going to take this hand and go right under his butt and I'm controlling here. This way, when he whips me back the other way, I'm coming under and dropping down. And now my hands are under his butt, my head's down by his hips. And now we can do what we call the butt compressor. So I'm just gonna extend my right leg to break his grip. And now I'm gonna start coming around and I'm gonna pinch his legs together. All right? And now I can shelve him and take him across. One passive guard. Go wherever we want from here. I didn't even know you go under. <laughs> right so we're here right he's whipping me back and forth so i post he comes back i come under his hips when he whips me back the other way i connect and i pull myself down right so now now yeah now he doesn't have what he wants right now i extend my leg i start coming he might push on my hips which is in common i'm just going to turn his hips away so, for some reason, I thought you were going to like bamby or maybe just run roll. Is there a bamby roll on the top of Off of whenever he goes to whip you. When he whips me and has my arms under? Yeah. Um, he still has my leg pretty tight. So I still got to bring my foot. So if I bring it, he still has my leg. And I to follow gravity with you. So, I don't know. It'll probably end up somewhere not fun. So, <laughs> you still have a lot of control, right? So, let's turn a little bit. Right? So, again, yep, we're here. He whips, he whips back, he whips again, and I catch. All right? I might have to use my head to post. So, you gotta get used to that. All right? I'm killing all this now. Yeah, his underhook is null and void now. All right? So, I kick out. <coughs> I start coming around, I pinch my elbows together. I show his hips. He can't do anything right here. All he can do is push on me. Right? So then I drive him back across, and I'm here. Right? Let's try it. Three, two, one. So you can go low and around the hips, but you give me this ability to kill your underdog. Exactly. If you go high and turn it over like you're reading your wristwatch, yeah. Now, I can't kill that under. Um, oh, nice. Okay. I was just going to ask you, what's the defense there? Perfect. Right? Wristwatch. So, lay down for me, side control. 
right? So this is the thing, like anytime you're keeping your underhook tight to you, you know, so if I'm here and he digs under for an underhook, you know, like he's gonna try to wrestle up and come up on that single leg, right? So go back. So as soon as he digs under, I take the turn. Mm, before he gets it in place. Okay. That way either. Now I just build his under right? right? Right, I lift his leg, he can't turn into me. Okay. Right to the leg drive. Right. <clears throat> Makes sense? Mm -hmm. Right, so, you know, so it's one of those things, I can play that low hip hug, you know, uh, electric under position, but I do give up that possibility of getting my underhook squashed, right? Whereas if I'm up high in the shoulders, because the whole point of that underhook is to do what? Elevate them? Elevate them. Okay. Right? <coughs> so when I have my lock down, you know, the whole thing is I need to make his leg like, right? So if he's keeping his hips back, I can't lift him up, right? I need to get his weight forward. Oh, okay. Make sense? Right? And by having that high underhook, you can't kill it. Right? Gotcha. <laughs> Sweet. I'm trying to bring my head to his hip at the same time. If I just put my arm here and he whips me back across, he can still come on top. Right? So when I go here, my head comes down. So now when he tries to whip me, my head is opposed. That makes sense, right? That stops him from being able to sweep me, right? And I want to get to this spot where his legs <coughs> are shelved because he doesn't have any strength to do much here. He's just frightened, <laughs> right? And now I'm walking across. Now I can come in and take the back, right? Does that make sense? So make sure as you're coming down, I'm trying to get my head all the way to his hip as I reach <laughs> under. If you don't bring your head low enough, they're still gonna roll you, right? If I get here and I try to reach under my head's this high, and he whips me, like, I'm going that far, head spike, right? Right. Right? <laughs> right? So this is why I want to be here. So now when he goes, it's not that much. Right, right? Oh, okay, okay. And I don't have right. enough momentum to try right? to. Right, if I'm up here, he's gonna spike the crap out of me. Every time, okay. Right? Dude, that's that's happened piece. before. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Why? So, head low, head to the hip, got it. Right? I keep playing from here. <clears throat> right? So, he gets here, I make this turn, we're playing this game, right? You know, so again, a lot of times I'll get here and he's really trying to whip me, right? So I've got to keep my posts, keep all this, make sure that he can't get to where he wants to go. I'm also concerned that he may try to come up to dogfight. So if he starts bringing his body out to go to dogfight, I drive back into him and get him back down, right? I don't want him to have what he wants. You know, so I want to keep him here, right? So we're playing this game, you know, so, and it's really a pain in the butt because I let him get too far underneath me. So it's going to be a battle here. Right? And I'm looking for my opportunities to the case. Right? So next option we're going to play with though is we're here. Maybe he's starting to look for that dog fight. He's starting to come up. It's a good time that I can switch my hips peel this off and start looking for this pass again, right? And we're getting in here. I bring this over. I come up to the mount. So I get here and he starts trying to bring my knee back across. Swipe back step. And we take <coughs> Right? We're here. I have all kinds of fun stuff I can do. A little ankle locks. And clear heel hook. Right. <clears throat> so again, here, I'm playing this back and forth. He's starting to come to that dog fight. So I sit, clear my leg. Right? Push that knee. 
I go to this three quarter mount. He starts bringing it back across. I just switch my hips. I sit back and I have both legs. I'm gonna come under, hook. Now I'm coming right on top of his toes and I'm catching a rear naked choke grip right here and I'm pushing down on his toes to finish this. The way he gets out of this, he pulls his knee to his chest and I heel hook him. <clears throat> right? One more time. Let's go ahead. This one. <clears throat> right, so we're here. We're working back and forth. He starts coming up. I make this switch. Clear my foot. Clear my knee. Right? And if he's not super tight on this, I can do just like I did. I can just go, I can just flip it over. If he's super tight, then I've got to go back to that lock pick and get my foot back out. And then we get back to here. I drive that in. He starts trying to bring it back. I just switch my hips and we come in. Under, we're gonna make a chill grip. He pulls his knee to his chest, heel hook. Right? Let's do it, three, two, one. Again, so we're gonna start the same way. He managed to get here. I'm gonna make oh, this. Sorry, there we go. Yep, got it? Yeah. All right, so we make this turn and we're here. So this time when he locks this up, I'm just gonna take my hand and I'm gonna come right under his elbow. This is all I'm doing. I'm just sitting this right here, right? I come up, I pick this foot off and we're here. Now I'm just gonna reach up and push his wrist to the mat. And I have my Kimura. So right now he still has my leg. So what I'm gonna do is make my leg light in order to bring it out. And I'm going to do that by rolling over my left shoulder. You can, you can walk up. Yeah, I don't only have it. Right? So I come through and I just kick it to come off. And we're here. He turns to hide his elbow. I get a hook. I sit him up. And I take him back. All right. So we're here. I make the turn, we kill this, I'm just coming right up under his elbow, right? I lift, peel that off, find his wrist, push it to the mat, get my Kimura grip. From here, I'm rolling over my shoulder. As I do, I bring my left knee inside his hips. So now I can push off to clear my leg. Here, he turns, I hook his leg, come up on my knee, and I sit him up. Now I can catch, trot, jump. Right? Think we can do that? One more time. One more time. <laughs> well, let's turn. Head this way. Yep. So we're here. I make that turn to kill it. Hand under the elbow. Hit my lock pick. Catch my Kimura. I roll, clearing my leg. He turns. I catch his leg with my foot. Sit him up. Shove the hand down. Shoot under the neck. Right? Let's do it. Three, two, one.